Hey, hey, hey. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me, to you guys. Oh, good, dude. Happy to do it. Awesome. So, uh, Eric, what drew you into Mr. Birthday? Well, I make a lot of dark movies. <laughs> and and uh, Mr. Birthday is an uplifting film about life being celebrated. And it deals with the heartbreaking phenomenon of having a birthday party that almost no one shows up to. All the planning, the excitement, the decorations, and not enough people to share it with. It's traumatic. It's a big deal. And Mr. Birthday comes up with a solution to all that. And he makes this experience of this movie very healing. And um, uh, I'll, let, I'll let Dan, Dan, Dan decide what plot points to a giveaway but it's a movie that why I made this movie is it promotes the cause of kindness and I don't make a lot of movies that do that and uh, this was a great opportunity for that and so um, to promote the cause of kindness we have Mr. Birthday awesome. and also I love Anne-Marie and Jason I work with her on, on one of my stock movies and uh, I just love the Verdi family. Simple. Oh, that, that was great to hear. I was able to, to check out the movie, and it was fantastic. I enjoyed, It was different. It, it brought, like, it was something that you don't see every day, the, the joy. I love that you're saying that. Thank you so much. Hey, Tell me yeah. that. <laughs> like, Dan, I, I got to ask you, how... What got you into that mind frame to create the movie? Well, you know, I think it's all about the uh, kind of privilege that we all have to have that one special day that should be celebrated. You know, it's our one special holiday that's unique to all of us. Uh, and it's sad sometimes that certain people get neglected on that special day. Uh, so we wanted to make a film that kind of it's almost like this underdog story uh, that gets behind the person who might have gotten forgotten about on their birthday. And uh, it's a, it, it's kind of a, just a, a little bit of a love letter to the memories that I had as a kid. You know, I had a lot of great birthdays growing up. Uh, and I think it's important that we all kind of, you know, focus on that feeling. And that's what this movie's all about. And, and very true on that. Very true. Like I, I noticed that uh, with with the, with the theme, like the the daughter law uh, didn't have anybody come to her birthday except until later on, you know, spoiler alert, someone came. But it it it, it, it looks at a different detail. You know, you you see from that child's point of view, like like oh my god, none of her friends came by, and then you, it, it's it's heart wrenching. You know, you like you want want to protect your child. You want to make sure the child's taken care of. You know, it's it's a birthday. It's a celebration. You know, it shouldn't be nothing sad. It should be like. Woo, go crazy. <laughs> yeah, and I think that it's also, you know, again, you, you know, you're, you're talking about uh, Jason London and Charlotte Siano, who plays the little girl, and mm -hmm. great uh, great job by both of them to kind of pull that off in the movie. That really sets the table, that, you know, opening scene there where the birthday kind of goes sideways, and it's like, oh, man, now what's going to happen? Um, I think it's important that, you know, we recognize that, like, hey, that was some, there was some great performances there to kind of have those emotional moments mixed in with all the fun and laughter and puppets and everything else. Oh, yeah. It, it was unique. I had to say it was very unique compared to other movies out there because you brought something creative out there, creative that it could resonate with families. And we thank you for that. We dig it, you know? Thank you. Hey, a family man, I'm like, wow. So, Eric... I got a question for you. Um, I know you've been in many new movies. Is there a, a certain technique you use to memorize lines? Well, two things. Uh, repetition. And if I agree to, uh, to do a movie like the night before the movie, I have a guy who does my cue cards for me. So it's either repetition or cue cards. And... Um, Cue cards are a big pain in the ass, though, because they're in the way, and they're cue cards. They're in the way, sure. but um, but sometimes you have no choice, and uh, I'm uh, I'm very good with them, 
And uh, so you know, people don't know I'm reading. And I almost know my lines anyway, at the very least. I always almost know my lines anyway. So so uh, I'm just using them as a as a checkpoint. I glance, you know what I'm saying, blah, blah, and say it. It's not like I have to stop and read. So uh, so it's either repetition or cue cards. Very cool. And, uh, and just to chime in, you would never, ever be able to see Eric looking at a cue card. It, it's it's. It's something that honestly, Eric, I think you just like having them there. I've never seen him look at them. It's almost just like, so I wish we all had them because <laughs> I've looked at them when I've had them up because the truth is, man, these scripts are like moving really fast. You're making rewrites on the fly. Lines are changing like two days before where like, oh, yesterday that was a different line. So it's just nice to like have that tool on set, you know? <laughs> Very true, very true. And Dan, do you appreciate the actors or do you encourage the actors, I mean, to uh, uh, put additional, thing, additional things in the, in the script? Like, let's say you're, you're shooting a scene and let's say Eric uh, adds additional monologue to the, to the scene. Do you, do you guys I would like be that? crazy not to do that. Yes, the answer <laughs> is yes, yes, yes. When you have people like Eric Roberts on set and you have uh, Anna Marie Dobbins and Jason London and all these great actors. I mean, it, you know, a lot of it is personalizing uh, the part and making it their own. So naturally their own nuances are going to come out across on screen. Um, so to me, that's always like the fun. That's the fun bonus. I mean, you can write a script, you can read a script in pre-production, you can plan it out, you can storyboard it. But until these actual human beings embody the character and start moving a certain way and talking a certain way you don't really know what you have and uh so it, it, it's a lot of fun to like you get it to here and then these actors they just dial it way up to, to a, a a place that you could have never dreamed of so yes we we do have a lot of that you know what we normally do is we try to do like the first take or two by the book and then that last take if we're moving quickly i'll usually go up to them and just say hey guys you know we have it let's try one where we just you know I never like to say have fun with it. I actually hate that. <laughs> a lot of directors will say, just have fun with it. And to me, it's like, this isn't fun. This is like very serious business. <laughs> you know, like, we're, not, we're not playing. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's kind of like, you know, do one for you. You know, like do one that, you know, say, surprise me. You know, get, make me laugh. You know, say something different. But I never say have fun with it. This is very serious. <laughs> Comedy is deadly serious. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> so, a question for both of you guys: um, What do you fa want fans to experience when they sit down and watch with their family, Mister Birthday? Satisfaction from from uh, my point of view. Satisfaction. Yeah, I think there's a lot of crazy, uh, dark things happening in the world today, and if we can provide 90 minutes where you just go to a special place, escape, have a few laughs. And forget about whatever's bugging you throughout that day. I think we did our jobs, and I think that's what Mr. Birthday does. Awesome, that's great to hear. And and from a viewer and a family man, that, that was a fantastic movie. We can't wait to come when it comes out. I know everyone's gonna love it. Oh, uh, thank you so thank you, much. Uh, no problem. And last question: Where can our fans find you on social media so they can keep in touch with you guys? At Eric Roberts or at Eric Roberts Actor. I'm sure. <laughs> at Eric Roberts or at Eric Roberts Actor. Instagram, Perfect. Facebook, and Twitter. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And, uh, you know, for me, I, I'm actually, Dan Hunter doesn't do a lot of social media stuff. Oh, okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. No problem. Thank but you guys so much. After today, because I'm going to talk him into it. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. You're like, I'm everywhere now. <laughs> thank you, Eric. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys again for the interview, taking the time of your important days. But uh, we'll let our fans know. Check out the movie comes out, I believe, uh, December 17th. That's right. Uh, perfect. Thank you so much, Dan and Eric. Y'all have a fantastic day. Thank you, Vic. Ciao. Thank you. Bye-bye.